Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the second week of TDEX Virtual Summer Camp. This week's activities are targeted at third through fifth grade, but we encourage viewers of all ages to follow along. Today is Food Waste Friday. Exciting, right? And we're doing a food waste craft that uses leftover produce scraps to make art. For today's activities, you'll need a couple of items, but most of them should be things you have around the house. So you'll need some leftover produce items that have really interesting patterns. So today I've got the base of a celery stalk. Again, this is a part that most of us don't ever eat, so I just lopped that off the end. I've also got a juiced lime. Um, so I used the lime juice um, to add to my water earlier this week um, and then just saved the rest of the lime and let it sit in my refrigerator to dry out for a couple of days. Um, if you don't have time or remember to let it to dry out, um, you can also just dab it with a towel. I have a really tough part of a piece of cabbage um, that I didn't want to use for my recipe because I was worried that it was gonna, wasn't going to be easy to eat even when cooked down, so I saved that down. That. And then I also have the top of a bell pepper. In addition to those leftover produce items that I'm going to be using today, corn and okra are also really great for this particular art activity. You'll also need some sort of craft um, paper to stamp on or some other surface for stamping that paint will adhere to. You'll need some project paint, whatever color you like. This is your artwork. And then you'll probably need some plates uh, to place your paint on. Before we get started though, let's talk a little bit about food waste. There's a lot that each of us can commit to do in our own household to address food waste. One of the best ways to combat generation of food waste is using food to its fullest potential before composting it or throwing it away. That's why today we're using produce scraps as stamps to make art. This is just one of many fun and beneficial uses of food scraps. Others include making compost, using certain food scraps for gardening purposes, or using parts of the produce we don't normally use for a healthy and delicious recipe. So let's get started with our stamps. And I'm going to give you guys a better view of what I'm doing here. So you'll just want to take your food scrap and the end of that and dip it into the paint that you placed on your plate. Make sure that you don't have too thick of a coat, otherwise you won't see the patterns come through on your paper. You can just repeat that process with your stamps and with as many colors as you like. Now I'm going to do my lime. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to continue doing my artwork while I'm telling you a little bit more about food waste. So there are a lot of resources that go into producing our food. If you think about it, there's land, water, soil, all kinds of energy sources that are used throughout the process, whether it be um, actually farming that produce, transporting, or processing those items. And so when we think about reducing food waste, we really want to make sure we're recognizing the value of those resources and the numerous resources that go into that food production process. Sadly, as Americans, we actually don't do the best job of recognizing those resources. So about 40% of the food that's produced in the U.S. gets wasted or goes uneaten. And only 2% of that is diverted through donation or composting. The rest of it ends up going to the landfill um, where we don't recognize the value of those resources and it can contribute to releasing harmful greenhouse gas emissions. So something else that's bad for the environment. So, Here's what my art looks like. I'm going to take a step back and admire it. It looks beautiful. I love these patterns that my produce scraps have created. So when you're all done, you need to take a minute to admire your masterpiece as well. So we'll need to allow it to dry and then hang it up. 
beautiful piece of artwork. Um, this is a great way to decorate stationery, um, or if you're perhaps making a greeting card, all different kinds of uses other than just artwork um, that you can use this art for. So thank you for following along with today's activity on Food Waste Friday. We hope you enjoyed the craft and learned a little bit about food waste and opportunities to reuse food. And we'll see you next week. Thanks.